Welcome to Tally Help Videos. In this video, you will learn how to validate HSN or SAC related information online using Tally Prime. You must be furnishing HSN or SAC information in transactions if your business has a turnover exceeding rupees 5 crore in the previous financial year. So, it is important that the information is accurate so that you do not face any obstacles in the process of filing returns or claiming input tax credit. Tally Prime Release 2.0 onwards, you can quickly validate HSN or SAC information online from within the product. You can do so at the stock item or stock group level or for multiple stock items in the GST rate setup report. For this, you need to enable GST along with either e-invoicing or e-way bill at the company level. Furthermore, to validate HSN or SAC using Tally Prime, you need to log in using either e-invoicing or e-way bill credentials based on the feature that is enabled. Both the features are enabled, then you will need to log in with e-invoicing credentials. Let's look at the process of validating HSN or SAC information at the stock item or stock group level. It's recommended to validate the HSN or SAC information during stock item creation. However, you can also do it in the stock item alteration mode. Press Alt-G, go to Alter Master, then select Stock Item and press Enter. Type or select the stock item for which HSN information needs to be validated and press Enter. Now, enable Set Alter GST Details. The GST Details for Stock Item screen appears. Press F12 and set Allow HSN SAC Details to Yes and press Ctrl A to save. The screen displays HSN SAC Details. Press Alt B or click Get HSN SAC Info. The eWay Bill login screen appears. If e-invoice is enabled in the company, then the e-invoice login screen will appear. Enter your username and password. You will remain logged in for the next six hours, provided you do not turn off the system you are working on or reset the credentials. Press Enter. As soon as Tally Prime exchanges the information with the portal, Get HSN SAC Info Summary appears. If the HSN code entered in the stock item is correct, then you can see the description and verify the same in the stock item master. You can update in the master if there are any discrepancies. If the HSN code provided in the master is incorrect, Get HSN SAC Info Summary will display the request as rejected with a reason of rejection as invalid HSN code. If description is already entered in the stock item master, then based on that information, Tally Prime will fetch HSN code from the portal. Similarly, you can validate HSN or SAC information at the stock group level. You can also validate HSN or SAC information from the sales or purchase ledger level if you have configured the HSN or SAC details in the ledgers. And if your business involves only one stock item, then you may have entered the HSN SAC details at the company level. In such a case, you may validate HSN SAC information from F11. Now let's see how to do it for multiple stock items at one shot. Press Alt-G, type or select GST Rate Setup and press Enter. The GST Rate Setup opens and you can see that the stock items are listed here. Now using Spacebar, select the stock items for which you want to validate HSN and SAC related information. Press Alt-B or click Get HSN SAC Info. As you can see, Tally Prime exchanges the information with the eWay Bill Portal. Thereafter, Get HSN SAC Info Summary appears in which you can see the HSN information. As you can see, Tally Prime facilitates an easy, online process to validate HSN or SAC-related information for stock items. Thank you! To learn more about Tally Prime features, visit help.tallysolutions.com.